Alrighty, here we go. So now we're done, we're done with the lobby simulator. Now let's get on with uh, playing Isengard. Oh, come on. Please don't lag. Alright. So today we'll be playing again another Lord of the Rings map. And this is, again, Isengard. We'll be playing today as Isengard. So Isengard's a little special because in the beginning we are allied to literally everyone. Um, after a couple of minutes, I think it's 22 in-game minutes, 23, uh, we end up turning on the world of good, which means that we join the dark side. So uh, we want to go ahead and try to get spies as quickly as possible uh, before then, because spies will only be 200 gold since everybody is our ally. So anyways, that is the main goal uh, for us right now. And yeah, it's completely intended, by the way. This is this is a legit strategy. Alright, so... We're going to go ahead and get a little bit of food, a little bit of stone. But we're going to try to get up as quickly as possible. And we can keep going. So, we have our heroes. So we have Sharku, which I used to get some sheep. He is somewhere, I forget where exactly. Where did I put Sharku? There he is, okay. Sharku. Uh, we have Ugluk, we have Lurtz, we have Wormtongue, which I'm going to stick in the castle because he's totally useless except for killing Theoden slowly, as long as Teal is paying attention. And we also have Saruman. Saruman actually gets really, really strong and really OP, and I'm hoping to kind of showcase that if Gondor dies. But we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see what happens. Alright, uh, and then the other hero here that we have is Samrog. Um, he's kind of our guy in the Barrow Downs, or white. As long as he's alive, he's going to go ahead and spawn us some undead. And then over here we have Wolfgar, which is leader of the... What is it? It's the Dunlin folk? keep saying Dunedain for some reason. Uh, but yes, we're going to spawn some nice Jackal Warriors for free uh, in a couple of moments. So the idea here is we're going to start getting our economy going. Uh, we're going to try to focus as much as possible on going up to Imperial Age very quickly. This can set us back a little bit, but hopefully we'll be able to get there. Uh, and then, of course, we'll try to get Saruman all the way to Ruin so we can get our quote-unquote elite units. Victory was near. Uh, us and Orange will be able to do that. And what else can Isengard do? It's been a while. Alright, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, right, we can go ahead and get all of our spawns. Um, if we can go ahead and kill Theodred, that would be awesome. And we'll try to do the old movie thing where we can go ahead and blow up the Deeping Wall with a Batard. Because style points, am I right, guys? Oh dear, that's not good, uh, self. Ideally, you want it to run very smoothly, right? Because it's the new edition. Cool. So, I don't see what they're talking about just yet, but um, they haven't taken me off chat, which is awesome. Started with the market. And, nah. Probably shouldn't have sent that to everybody. It's fine. We will live. Alright, I need a bit more on gold. Um, we should be okay after that. It's harder to go up. Oh man, a lot of sheep. Alright. Let them kill the deer. Perfect, right under the TC. Couldn't ask for a better placement. Alright, so with these guys, uh, what I will do is I will go here, build a mill, because there's a lot of food over there. And ideally when I'm going to get a few upgrades on my villagers, because we're Incas, we're going to be able to take down a couple boars. <laughs> Very smoothly, yeah. Well, ideally that's the, that's the idea, is to make it run smoothly, right? Alright, uh, we should be able to get a couple more on gold, and then we should replenish the guys on wood that we took over. But it's totally fine. We have quite a bit of gold accessible, 
But the main thing is, as long as we keep this little hut here uh, alive, we're going to get a bunch of tributes, which is awesome. They're going to be uh, really good for us. And uh, in case you haven't noticed, there's a, actually double castles over here. Uh, just in case. So this is the fairy. Oh! So this is what happens when you're playing with a Rohan that you know has no idea what's going on. You may want to kind of nudge him to make sure that his Theoden doesn't die. Um, but yeah, basically it gives us a buff. But the old fortress is abandoned. All right. Okay, so, well, Teal's not going to be doing so hot, but it doesn't matter. So every couple of minutes now, because Theoden is one of the big heroes, uh, unfortunately it will also help, uh, what's his name, it will also help Orange, because he's also going to get a nice buff for his elephants, uh, amongst other units. So we're just going to go ahead and keep building Vils. So we could have gone up. Uh, I'm choosing not to, just so that we can get extra, uh, extra time and extra Vils for now. Uh, because once we do that, it's going to get really expensive. So ideally, we want to go ahead and get the double up uh, as much as possible. So hit castle, then go imp. But that's very hard to do. Thanks, Super Lisco. I appreciate it. I usually don't build a mining camp here, and there's a reason. It's because I save it for farm space, because it's very limited inside Isengard. So my villagers walk, okay? Just don't look at it. We're not going to look at it anymore. All right, uh, so Gapa Rohan, we should, I mean, we could build a market and see the entire map, but um, there's no point. All right, uh, cool, cool, cool. I don't know if I should get Saruman out there right away. I mean, I guess we could do that. Yeah, that that's that's true. Super, let's go. I I, I agree. Um, I just I just like that. I make sure that I do have spies, so I go up with like one TC, and it's fine. Um, don't worry, I do I do still build another TC now and again. All right, and let's grab you because we don't need stone. We'll build an extra TC. So we should have plenty of food. Uh, we just need a little bit more gold to get there. But we can still keep creating villagers until then, which is good. Maybe it should help building the TC. It should, should help. All right, so we're going to keep walking with Saruman. Saruman's going to take a while. I mean, old man's don't move that fast. It's fine. We're going to get wheelbarrow so my villagers can walk 10% faster from the gold. And yeah, we're to me, Hillman. doing good so much so that I can get upgrades. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm torturing my vills, guys. Calm down. It's, it's all legal in Isengard. All right, so we started making some of these Jaguar Warriors. And as you can see, um, they're already getting some extra hit points on, on them which means I should probably get there. Uh, I will get a mining camp there eventually. It's just I transition them just right now. So it's fine. Come on. I want to get one additional because it could take a while. All right. So we'll get one extra vill. And then we can start gathering these guys and go south. And voila. So we're going on the way up. We should be there in about three minutes or so in game time. So we've got about two minutes to spare before we get there, which is perfect. Look, Simon is actually pushing a deer down here. And we can say hi to the Watcher, Simon's best friend. They're, they're secret friends, guys. All right. 
So we're trying to get more wood here so we can build other TCs. But we are on our way up and we've got a bunch of food. So we're going to invest that food. Uh, just a moment. All right, so that's a lot of fills. Excellent. All right, so since Moria has been open, we can go all the way to Rune, which shouldn't take us much time, I hope. All right, so we can get these upgrades. Excellent. Yeah, so we keep getting this uh, here because we completed one of our quests by killing Theoden, which makes Grima completely and utterly a use of space at this point. So, goodbye. He's basically just the only there to kill Theoden, so he's useless to me. And so he dies. Alright, I'm going to go a little bit heavier on wood, and the reason for that is so I can start building farms and extra TCs. Uh, let's get them here. Start cutting down a Fungorn. And alright, we can go see, say hi to the goblins in Moria, because, you know, we're secret allies and whatnot. Say sup to the Balrog, because apparently we knew it was there beforehand, and we're good to go. So we're in a good spot right now. Again, we just need more wood because our wood income is really slow right now. We've got some Jaguar Warriors and let's get spies before I forget. Voila. So now we can see the entirety of the map, which is awesome. So we see Saruman, he's gonna go down and he's gonna go all the way to Rune. Ooh, excellent. So we got a nice big fat tribute from the Men's of Dunlin, which, you know, is really good for us that's exactly what we want and there's actually no point of us getting town watch because we already have all the vision that we could ever require all right so let's keep getting extra right, that way extra TCs. Excellent. Now we've turned on the world of men. So like I said, we're only allied with are, are the evil players, which now makes it a four against four, as before it wasn't. But it's totally fine. We are going to get these guys as strong as possible just for the fun of it. And we can start getting some scorpions. Hey, Pablo, how's it going? So that will get us to spawn some of our other units. And I'm trying to get as many units upgrades as possible. All right, so the blue wizards are coming. All right, I should probably get. Well, I can't. You know what? It's no point of getting that because they don't get. The arrow upgrades. We get to spawn Mamluks, so we don't have the cavalry upgrade, which is a little bit unfortunate, but they do get affected by the attack upgrades as soon as one of my farmers puts food in my bank. Let's do it. Alright, so we are farming slowly. And we're slowly building our army. So as you can see, we're building farms uh, and they're slowly being transitioned to like rice farms because this is on water. There's just a lot of rubble on here. 
All right, so let's see how this is going. Yeah, well, basically, um, if the dam actually breaks, all the rubble gets removed and it's literally just like water that you can build on, you know, that terrain. So that's why it's, it's for the aesthetics, really. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, one of the heroes is dead. That's nice, I guess. Oh, and despite me saying so, yeah, Judy did say he did do the Judy strat. It's fine. Totally fine. Don't worry about it. Where is Saruman? Jeez, where can I find him? Oh, there he is. Little guy right down here. To me, Hillman. So we should be able to get there very quickly. I don't know where his wizards are, but they should be on the way. Yeah, they are. Okay, perfect. I was able to complete Blast Furnace, which is really nice for me. And yeah, I'm basically just waiting to get a couple more extra uh, techs and things like that. We're going to need to have Heavy Scorpion too at some point to start spamming the Camel Archers. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're kind of taking it easy on... Uh, our teal friend right now. We're not actually rushing him too much. So he's he's enjoying life. We're giving him kind of a head start because we do have um Oh, I do want to kill Theotred though. Oh, I really do want to kill Theotred. He did give us a nice buff with Theoden dying. So I'll just kinda of say hello. Alright, so every time that, that happens the whole steal their breath thing. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got another big tribute, so we'll be able to go ahead and get mostly everything else that we want. The only thing I'm not able to afford right now is the um, heavy scorpions for the camel archers that we will get. And it's nice to have because they do counter the uh, um, what is it? The hussars, uh, the the Magyar heavy uh, heavy cavalry archers quite nicely. All right, so we will go ahead and get this come on there we go uh, we'll get a couple more techs because we can and of course we'll keep getting the range upgrades it's nice to have our all the upgrades that we can possibly get all right so we crush that i guess we can go ahead and crush the palisade gate oh, great So we're saying hello. Uh, he's got a couple of crossbows in here. He's going to do a little bit of damage to us. It's fine. But our units have gotten quite a bit of it, extra hit points, so we should be able to take down the gate. So we'll see. We'll have some fully upgraded ones coming up very shortly. So that's good. All right, my bad. There you go. Discord is muted. Thanks for letting me know, Super. Let's go. So if you guys have ever played it on this side, the Asgiliath noise is different from whatever side that you're currently playing. So we're just doing just well right now. I didn't see any Onagers in Helm's Deep. I did see Ballistas though. Let's get our undead to help out 
Yeah, I think we got our undead to help out. Cool. Yeah, they're on their way. Alright, these guys are done. They should be able to hunt the boar. Because... Yeah, so OP villas. Inca villagers. So yeah, there you go. No problem. Not even a hit. Alright, and... Let's keep getting our upgrades. Oh man, Buck is crushing this, which is unfortunate because the game's not going to last for very long on that pace. I'm still waiting for the wizards. Oh, absolutely, the teams are super balanced. Uh, to the point where we should do the secret quest. I should never have left the Shire! Leave my alive! Oh dear god. They're all dead. They're all dying. Oh god. This isn't like... Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even have to do anything in this game. I can just watch. It's great. The only thing I do want to do though is I do want to go ahead and kill Theodred. That's the only that's the only goal that I want to do. That's all I want. Oh well, that's nice. He did get the uh, Thorns Company to Erebor, so that's always nice. The new wolf riders have just shown up. You will die for so Super. All right, so we got our epic units. To me, Hillman. So I will be going back through here, and hopefully nothing bad will happen to him on his way. So these guys are usually really, really strong. Uh, you can go ahead and use them to take him out Bree, but right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go on the complete other side, and we will try to go ahead and kill Theodred. He's kind of protected behind towers, crossbows, and things like that, so we'll see what we can do. <laughs> of course. Also, uh, thanks, Soul Jazz, for the follow. Appreciate it. Alright, let's keep going. We have a couple of scorpions and things down here. So we should be able to make really quick work of what's going on down here. To me, Hillman. The list is for the win. Oh, it's beautiful. Seeing that rows and rows of s of dead guys down here. Oh, come on! No, don't do that. He's the one guy I wanted to kill. Now I'm stuck here. Well, let's go with the Mamluks. Ah, oh, boy. Fine. Is he going all? Yeah, it looks like he's going all the way to here so we'll follow him we'll just dive right in I hope I don't take too many casualties doing this but it is what it is so it's fine oh thank god they're not upgraded towers so my scorpions can actually decimate watchtowers pretty cool I like it
bargaining with the enemy. Alright, I will kill this just so that I never have to deal with Tarkins regardless. Alright. So I just want this guy. This is the only guy I'm after. The Orchard. Alright. Well, it looks like Buck's just wrecking at this point. He's got the upgraded Nazgul's, which is fine. God, the lag is unreal right now. Denethor is dead. Oh, come on! He's just hiding in the tower thing. Oh, fine. Alright, Aizen's emptying out to go kill Edoras so that he can kill Theodred, which died later. It's fine. I will make do. Come on. It's fine. So, I did show this a little bit earlier. Uh, those Mamluks, you can get them by bringing Saruman all the way down to Rune. So, that's what we did. And we are now currently on our way back. Saruman might take a little damage walking back. But it's fine. Oh yes, please do use your Cavalier against my OP Mamluks. I, I just love nothing but... Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and kill the TC because it's just annoying me. And we're just going to camp here. I mean, he didn't have to do this. Like, I, I'm happy to just kill him and literally walk back. I can do other things. It's fine. But he's choosing to fight. So I will oblige. Alright, it's done. There we go. Oh, seriously? Oh, Saruman is dead. Oh, boo. Oh dear. Okay, that's GG. Alright, well, since, you know, Blue's dead. Um, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I could go to Isengard. Let's, alright, let's get a Petard. I forgot about that. We're gonna do the Petard thing. Because we can. We'll do it, guys. To be fair, in the actual movies, what ha actually did happen... Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I, I just wanted to have Theotrid. That's all I wanted, guys. Oh, well, I didn't get to show you, but after you kill Theotrid, you get to make some legionaries, which are just like armored Urukai. So you get to have those. Uh, you also. Um, when Gandalf is dead, I didn't get to show you guys that, but Saruman basically gets a huge buff. So you can automatically convert everything and anything, so it's awesome. Yeah. To be fair, I, did, I hardly got to do much either, but it, it is what it is.